Hey, 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 April Ray here with the introvertmogul.com. Thank you so much for joining me. So um, I wanted to do a quick video, instruction video, about how to kind of format a blog post. There's a certain way you want to write your blog post so that visually it's attractive, easy to navigate, easy to read, and also that you have some um, optimization going on in your um, in your article. So this is my this is my web page. Um, and notice that um, I have a main visual uh, featured image here at the top. Now, I'm gonna scroll down kind of quickly so you can show. You can put more pictures. You wanna have at least one. Um, and I usually just do one, but you can do more images in your uh, blog post. Sometimes the more the merrier, however, well, actually I won't say the more the merrier. A lot of times you wanna do um, at least two. Two to three is pretty good. Um, that helps with SEO as well. Like I only do one just because it's quicker just to only do one, but and visually I, I like it to look a little bit cleaner, but every once in a while I'll throw an extra image in there. Um, you wanna make sure that your text is uh, big enough for people to see. I've seen a lot of blog posts or pages where, you, where they use the default text and it's too small. I think they're using a, a 12 point or something like that. It's way too small. So you need to increase the font so that people can actually read your post, especially when they're reading on their phone or something like that. Um, notice down here I have uh, a very large H tag, which is a uh, header tag. Um, it basically helps to separate your paragraphs. So you wanna make sure that you have your paragraphs um, separated nicely. You don't wanna have a big chunk paragraph where people have to kind of read because you know we're, people are skimmers and so you kind of want to write your post in in a way where people can skim and still get all of the information that they're looking for. Notice that I have um, bolded points here um, that helps the reader's eye focalize in that direction. Um, you want to bold places where you want people to actually focus on the most. Um, I have another uh, H1, this is an H2 tag, and I'll talk about that when I go into the back office. Um, so that helps to break up once again. That's a title. You wanna give each paragraph the title of the next sort of um, information that you're gonna provide, okay? So scroll down, I have another one, another tag, and another bold. Now this is a link. You wanna also add links to outside uh, web pages, usually authority pages. So this is a particular software. So what I do is I link that to that software program. To I link the, the 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 name to the actual website that people can go to. That helps provide or give you a little bit more juice and attention to your um, blog posts. Not a lot, but it's necessary. The the uh, SEO bots or the Google bots will look for links in your blog posts. Um, I have another header tag that helps to break it up. I broke up this whole paragraph here, and it's the same thing. And then I usually have a call to action at the end. You wanna have, when you write your blog posts, you kinda wanna write from the end. What is the end result that you want that the reader to take? What is it that you want them to do after they read your blog post? Do you want them to go to a sales funnel? Do you want them to go to maybe your Facebook, uh, to, to like you on your Facebook fan page? Make sure that you have a call to action at the end of every post, letting people know where you want them to go. Um, a lot of times I'll send them to a sales funnel or I'll send them to my YouTube channel. Um, I always send them somewhere, okay? And then I put a little ending uh, signature at the end and then I have my picture with some information um, as well okay so I'm gonna go into my back office here all right so when I go into my text module this is the Divi theme notice on the very first um, sentence I have my keyword which is basic SEO I have it linked to an authority site or yeah, I have it linked to an authority site. That's, um, I have a training on SEO that you really wanna take a look at in our MLSP back office um, that will really help you format your uh, blog post and optimize it correctly. Have another link, but I wanted to go to the H tag. Now see this H tag right here. Um, if you go to the top, it's a heading one. Okay, so each successive 
um, tag and, I, and it's, a, it's a bigger font. And usually what I do is um, I will increase the font first because it gives you, these give you standard um, default sizes and sometimes I might want it to be a little bigger or a little smaller. So what I'll do is I will actually size it first here and let me go to that. I think it's a 24. Yeah, it's a 24 point. So I will size it and I will format this, the font that I use first. And then I'll go in and I'll add my tag. So that way the tag will still show, but it'll be formatted and designed the way I want it to look and not the default look that that will give you. And then my next one, this should be um, an H2 tag. These are actually, you, you need to have these tags in there because this is what Google looks for and it also makes your blog post just look better. Um, I've seen people who are, they're kind of like new to blogging and so their, their writing looks like uh, a book, like you're, they're writing a journal. Um, you really need to break up your text uh, to the next idea, create a tag for the next idea and uh, so on and so forth. And that's a heading two, and it's also a 24. So that's kind of the uh, how that works. Um, my tags, if I were to click here and add a tag, this is where you put the URL, and then you just hit apply, and then you have your tag. You just put the where you want people to go to. And let's see, what else did I want to? I think the tag was the most important thing because I see a lot of people not using these headers and the post just doesn't look like, I, it doesn't look like something that I would have want to try and read. Their texts are too small, the, the text isn't broken up, and they don't have their title tags. I think that's the gist of what I want to let you guys understand. And also, make sure to click the link below. If you're not, ML, if you're not in MLSP, um, you can sign up, click the link to get more information on it. We have training on SEO and we also have training on blogging that's really, really will help you to um, increase your blogging and getting more traffic and more eyes on your blog post. So, you know, you want to get traffic on it. You want to get people looking at it. You, wanna, you don't want to do all this writing and nobody sees it. Um, there is one more thing that I wanted to add. This picture here, I don't put the pictures, if you notice, I didn't put any pictures in the text area. I used the featured image here and I just pulled it. Um, if you go into your back office of WordPress, which you should have if you're, you should have WordPress, um, and you go into featured image, you click on it, and then you just upload an image like you normally would. But, and then any successive images, then you can put them in here. Like if you're gonna add more than one image, you can put it in the text area. But I, like I said, I only use one image and I use the fe featured image. And what it does is, I'm gonna go over if you were to add the, if you were to add this image here in the text area and the featured image, you would have two images of the same image. <laughs> you would have two of the same image and you don't want to do that. So it has to be either one or the other. If you're going to put an image in the text area, don't put an image in the featured area and vice versa. Okay, but the featured area will guarantee that it gets onto your actual blog page. Uh, and I'm gonna go there right now and I'll show you what I mean. Here we go, here we go. And there's my image. So to ensure that your images get pulled onto your actual blog page where people can see all your blog posts and choose what they want to read, make sure that you use the featured image um, as your main image and then any other images you can go ahead and put them in the text area and format them in how you want them to look in your actual blog posts. All right, that's it. If you want to know more about MLSP and all the training that we have in the back office, go ahead and click the link below and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.